My name is Alexander Brolo, and I'm a professor of chemistry, physical chemistry, and analytical chemistry at the University of Victoria. Materials, when you get materials and you make them very, very small, their properties change. And because their properties change, they can be used for different types of applications that we haven't thought before with, with the bulk material. So it's the idea that by uh, manipulating the property of the materials, we can, we can learn more about, about the, you know, the, the world, about how, how, how molecules work and so on, and we can use that knowledge to, 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 to translate to uh, new technologies. If we can make a device that is uh, you know, cheap, and that's small, and can, can be uh, operated without training, and can be used in a clinical setting and can detect proteins that, 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 that are relevant for, for, for some clinical diagnosis, for example, for, for diagnostic of uh, early diagnostic of cancer, for example. Then we start getting to the realm of cell saving lives, right? We, we have this uh, uh, goal of, uh, of, of advanced uh, technology and, and advanced technology and, and, you know, and sometimes we don't do it in a, in a big jump. Maybe my lab is not going to win a Nobel Prize and it's not going to come with a device that's going to cure cancer, okay? But I think that by uh, doing what we do, we, we are helping things advance to those directions. Mm -hmm.